sensitive toothpaste do tend to work very, very well. They work in several different ways by protecting the outer layer of the tooth, by blocking the pores in the teeth, and by helping to reduce sensitivity in the tooth against hot, cold, and sweet things. You may have a sensitive tooth um, if you have any gum recession, if the root of the tooth is exposed, maybe if you have gum disease, any cavities in the teeth. Sensitivity is a um, sharp, uh, short shock type pain, like a bit like an electric shock, and it can be very intense for a few seconds, but then um, as your tooth normalizes in temperature again, it can go back to um, normal, but in the few seconds or few minutes that it lasts, it can be very, very intense. Using a sensitive toothpaste over, over a period of time can help to reduce that sensitivity. Most sensitive toothpaste work in such a way that you then have to continue to use them to carry on with that protection against the sensitivity. Otherwise, what will happen is that barrier will then break down and you will have sensitive teeth again. If you do have sensitive teeth, it is worth going to see your dentist because your dentist can help diagnose as to why those teeth are sensitive, whether you have any cavities or gum disease or anything can have be helped along the long-term problem of sensitivity for you. Some of the key ingredients in sensitive toothpaste can be fluoride, potassium nitrate, arginine, and calcium fluorophosphosilicate. Sensitive toothpaste work by either blocking the tubules around um, the pores that uh, cause sensitivity or by um, helping you form a barrier on the outside of the teeth. Your teeth are made up of several different um, layers. The enamel of the tooth is quite hard, but the root of the tooth um, can be quite porous. And if you have gum disease or any gum recession, then what can happen is that root can become exposed. If you have anything hot or cold landing on that area where that root is exposed, it can cause sensitivity. So toothpaste and some of the ingredients in the toothpaste can help to um, form a barrier over those root surfaces and help to call, um, keep away those cold substances, hot and cold substances, away from those areas, preventing sensitivity. We don't recommend to rinse your teeth after brushing. So after you brush your teeth, leave the toothpaste in your mouth, you can spit out, but leave your toothpaste there in contact with your teeth for it to carry on working even after you've brushed your teeth. If you have sensitive teeth, I would not recommend that you use a whitening toothpaste. Most whitening toothpaste work by having an abrasive agent in them that actually help to remove the top layers of your teeth. So you want to try and save the um, top layers of your teeth and prevent any um, sensitivity. So I would not recommend a whitening toothpaste when you are uh, trying to prevent sensitivity. Sensitive toothpaste can be a little bit more expensive than the normal toothpaste. One of the best known brands is Sensodyne, but lots of other sensitive toothpaste do exist. If you visit the link in the video description, we've got a number of recommended products. You can buy over-the-counter sensitive products and they do work very, very well. But if you still have a problem, please do go and see your dentist. And there are certain prescription toothpaste that the dentist can prescribe as well.